night, Mississippians voted to pass Initiative 65, which will allow doctors to prescribe medical marijuana to those with debilitating medical conditions. The latest in a long line of states to make that move. WCBI Stephen Pempo joins us in the studio with what medical marijuana could mean for Mississippians and what comes next. Stephen? That's right, Andre. 74% of voters chose to approve Initiative 65 Tuesday as Mississippi joins 35 other states in legalizing medical marijuana. But it will at least take until 2021 before patients can access medical cannabis here in Mississippi. Mississippians, they spoke and they spoke very loudly. That was medical marijuana advocate Ronnie Pollard's reaction to Mississippi approving Initiative 65, which legalizes the use of medical marijuana. For Ronnie, whose daughter has used CBD oil in her battle with leukemia, it was an emotional day. We have loved ones that, uh, you know, have been in, in pain, have been fighting cancer, have seizures, and just multiple other illnesses that this can help. Ronnie volunteers with Mississippi for Compassionate Care, the group that sponsored the campaign for the citizen-led initiative. Doctors will now be able to prescribe marijuana to patients suffering from a list of 22 debilitating conditions, including cancer, epilepsy, and ALS. There are still several steps left before Mississippians can find medical marijuana at their local pharmacy. Well, the state will have to figure out how they're going to regulate it. I'm sure the state pharmacy board wants to be involved and maintain control. The Mississippi Department of Health will be in charge of regulating the growing, processing, and distributing of marijuana. They're currently scheduled to have all new rules and procedures in place by July 2021. After that, local pharmacies like Roberts Apothecary in Columbus will need to qualify to carry medical marijuana. I'm sure each dispensary will have to be certified by one or more state regulatory agencies. Identification cards and treatment center licenses are currently expected to be ready by August 2021. But once it is available, pharmacist Robert White says it can open whole new treatment options for Mississippians. In addition to pain, good for seizures, inflammation, um, postpartum depression. In Louisiana, it took close to five years from the time medical marijuana was legalized to the time it was available in dispensaries. Ronnie told me he's hopeful that Mississippi won't have to wait that long.